This is News on 6 Sports with Bobby Lewis. Mark your calendars on the Napa Sports Desk tonight. Happy Valentine's Day from the Big 12, who on this day, a day to celebrate all things lovey-dovey, has provided us with an opportunity to sit down and plan special dates with our one true love, college football. Yeah. Sorry, wives, I know. <laughs> the league has announced its schedule, and its conference schedule is good. Big news, no Missouri, no Texas A&M this season. Sub in TCU and West Virginia. Oklahoma faces Texas on October 13th, and then hits Morgantown in mid-November. Bedlam rounds out the month in Norman, and OU visits TCU on December 1st. How about the Pokes? Coming off their first BCS Bowl win, they host Texas in the Big 12 opener on September 29th. TCU comes to Stillwater a month later, and then former OSU offensive coordinator Dana Holgerson, now the head coach at West Virginia, returns to Stillwater on November 10th. You can see the full Big 12 schedule for our two teams. Check us out at newson6.com. The Thunder is back at home tonight after more than a week on the road. OKC beat Utah on Friday in Salt Lake City. Same two matchup again tonight, and Dean Blevins has more from the peak. Utah is a club that is tired. They've lost four of their last five games. They lost to a bad Hornets team that was all beat up. The get last game they played against Oklahoma City was three nights ago. The Thunder hasn't played since then, so you're playing a team that's going back to back to back against a Thunder team that has the best record in the league. Complacency, is that an issue? Any team, if you're not focused with good energy and your concentration level is not high, they can come in and beat you, even on your home court. We're aware of that, and our guys done a good job all year of being focused every game. So six of the next seven games for the Thunder right here at Chesapeake Arena. The Thunder has a very good chance of going into the All-Star break with the best record in the NBA. Reporting from Oklahoma City, I'm Dean Blevins. Kevin Durant might be interested in this game. His Longhorns at the Lloyd Noble Center tonight to face the Sooners. OU has lost four in a row the first time that's happened all season. Texas has won three in a row the first time they've done that in the Big 12 all year. Tip-off is set for seven. City commissioners in Salina, Kansas voted unanimously last night to name a basketball court after the late OSU head coach, Kurt Budke. Budke's name will be put on the floor at the Salina Bicentennial Center in March. Budke was a Salina native and set scoring and rebounding records at Sacred Heart High School in the late 70s that still stand today. Speaking of records, last night at the Maybe Center, Kevi Looper needed 33 points to set the ORU record for points in a career. She came up just a little bit short. Good game, though. She scored 24 points in the ORU win. So Looper needs nine points to pass Vivian Heron. She can also set the school mark for career steals with three more swipes. Her next opportunity to do so, Saturday, ORU visits IPFW. Uh, OU baseball picked to finish third in the Big 12. OSU picked to finish sixth. And if you can believe it, baseball starts on Friday. So no rain, please. I believe it. Yeah, he's <laughs> well, I know. You know yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you.